being a chef. We are always looking for new things. Expanding his palate. Put some of the cauliflower puree into here. His taste buds crave more adventure. Lots of tasting. Grant Gard is the owner and chef at Part and Parcel, and he has the freedom to put whatever he likes on the menu. Roasted beets, Moroccan fries, cricket cavatelli. We'll put a little bit of salt in there. Yep. That's right, complete creative control. Smoked mealworms, uh, smoked crickets, and cricket powder. These are the latest ingredients he's bringing to the table. Grant is one of six local restaurants who has stepped up to the plate to add insects to their menus. The joy of having your own restaurant is that you can do what you want. And I mean, we really like to have fun here and just putting bugs in the menu is just like something different. Um, definitely for, you know, Victoria. Different indeed. The move comes after the producers of Bugs on the Menu asked him to help promote their documentary. We need food solutions that are drought resistant. The film demonstrates how insects are a viable solution to our food system that's under pressure. We just watched the movie last night and it shows a lot about our impact of our food system as it is now and how it's broken um, in so many ways, just like mass market farming. Taking tiny steps, Grant has used cricket powder to create this pasta, adding a sprinkle like of smoked mealworms for texture. So as I was trying to make it a little bit more accessible, everybody likes pasta, it's easy to digest, it's easy to like, it's easy to see and be like, I'm gonna eat that, right? In a society where burgers and fries are the norm, it can sometimes be hard to stomach the idea of eating bugs. But this insect expert believes that can change. Culturally, we have been told, we've decided that they are not edible. Consuming bugs in North America may be perceived as odd, but the UN proclaimed in 2008 that insects are a great alternative source of protein, especially as the world begins to face challenges such as population explosion and climate change. We see really interesting shifts uh, culturally, and certainly diet is one of them. So you have um, Asian cultures saying, you know, we want to eat like North Americans uh, because that's part of being modern. And um, so they're, they are leaving behind these lengthy culinary traditions that include insects in favor of North American foods that we are uh, starting to recognize are, are um, problematic. As bugs become part of a greater conversation, I figured I'd give them a try. And this one kind of has like a citrusy center. They're re those are really nice on top of a salad, actually. Mm, better than a chicken. Different than chicken. I wouldn't say it's better than, like, I wouldn't compare it. It's a different feel, right? Like, it's not really comparable. I would compare it more to, like, a nut or, like, a seed. I have to say, the idea of them being full of good nutrients made it easier to swallow. Uh, they're good for protein. Uh, they're high in iron. Um, they can be uh, an excellent source of uh, vitamin B12 and calcium and uh, the environmental footprint is pretty incredible. They use a fraction of the water um, that corn does, for example, or beef. So from an environmental standpoint, eating insects makes sense. But as change can be gradual, Grant is sticking to a go-slow approach to win his customers over. By slowly integrating bugs into dishes, he believes Westerners can overcome social stigmas. And already, some customers leave wanting more. People were just like, that was really good. The pasta was like cool, but I love the smoked mealworms. So perhaps one day you'll be the one who is putting the bug in someone else's ear to try a little cricket cavatelli. Pretty good, really good. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Lisa Pismeni.